Today, let's talk about how fear of losing someone or something is the energy that manifests the loss. My name is Liliana Martins and welcome to In Your Element TV. Fear, oh, what an energy. Remember to like, subscribe and notify so we can all go through these times together. It is somehow interesting how the thing you run away the most is the one thing that ends up manifesting in your life because your ego directs your attention elsewhere. It is so clever that it fools you right under your nose. Today, we will be working on your physical body, which is represented by the earth element. When you activate the fear of losing someone or something within you, observe how it goes and notice that it is the fear that is calling the shots, not the loss itself. If you stop to dissect any of these kind of events in your life, you will notice that it is your fear of losing that led straight into the loss. Every single action taken was based on fear. The loss was just a byproduct. Fear is the energy to be addressed first if you want to cut your losses. Hence the importance of self-awareness at all times. Stopping to reflect on what you are feeling and allowing yourself to stay and befriend the feeling is the first step towards solving any emotional conflict or situation if you want to come out as a winner. Failing to do so is an invitation to choose a long journey as opposed to a short integrating one. Fear is present in most of our human interactions. It can be a very subtle feeling, almost on the current, to all other feelings and emotions. But it runs the show if you are not aware and in control. When fear dictates your actions, it can activate parts of your shadows that you don't even know exist within you. You find yourself acting irrationally and out of thought. Haven't we all been there, one way or another? I would say avoid self-blame or guilt, as that just adds salt to the wounding. Who needs blame, shame and guilt to add to the mix? Next time you find yourself in a similar situation, stop and ask yourself, what am I feeling? Is fear present in this mix? If so, stay present. Acknowledge the feeling and let it tell you where is it coming from. Be aware that the power is within you. And this is the first step in your healing journey. After this, you can decide where to go to get a system that you may need. Sometimes the help you may need is a simple tool to keep you in awareness or to release and replace energy. Sometimes professional help is required. Only by being aware of what is going on within you, you can make empowered decisions. Get into the habit of identifying steps that help you keep your general well-being balanced. If you find this content resonates with you, and we are the right community for you, visit our website and follow us at any of our social media platforms. If you have any conscious ideas, requests or suggestions, we would love to hear from you. Remember to give us your feedback by leaving a note in the comments box. Thank you. See you in the vortex. Goodbye.